Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy to have you here today for a new video. We're gonna be kicking off a weekend vlog. So I actually started filming this video a couple hours ago, but I was filming this like same intro in my car before I was getting ready to head out for the morning and my garage lights are like on a timer and the lights went off because it was daylight time, but it was like still very much dark out um, because it was just, it's been a gloomy day. So you like could not see me and like even with the car lights and everything I was trying to turn on, it just was not looking good. So we're restarting and I'm gonna give you a little recap of my morning. Started off with getting some work done at Alfred for a couple of hours, which was really nice. And that just really helps me focus to go somewhere and get out of the house. So I did that. And then I went to a spin class at Evolve Cycle where I have been going, actually this month is my five year anniversary of going to that studio. So I went there, went to Sephora to pick up some things, which I will grab now. So at Sephora, I picked up my tried and true makeup remover, the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is my favorite. It always comes with a little sample of the Honey Halo, which I've never actually used this. Um, I just have like a pack um, or like a bag that has like samples and products in it that I just put stuff in that I'm not using. It always comes with one of these. So you just use it, scoop out what you need, rub it between your hands, put it all over your face. Also, it's extremely satisfying to look at when it's brand new and to like use it for the first time. Um, I still have probably a couple more uses left in my current one, but I just wanted to get a new one because they were actually doing a, I think it was you earn like three times the points or something like that um, right now. And the holiday savings event is actually coming up um, starting on... October 28th for Rouge, uh, VIB October, November 1st, and then Insider November 3rd. Um, and then starting on the 28th, 30% off for Sephora collection. Um, so that is that. And the sale runs through the 7th, which I believe is the day after this video is going up. Um, and then I actually just got a facial a couple days ago. My skin is kind of in like the purging stage um because a lot of like stuff was brought up and I'm really just trying to not be stressed uh which definitely contributes to having breakouts for me so dealing with that but um my esthetician recommended trying out a retinol product and they had a smaller size of this one from Shawnee Darden which I've wanted to try for a while so I got the retinol reform um, it says clinically proven, cl clinically proven results in just eight weeks to improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, brightness, texture, and elasticity. So excited to try this out and see how it goes. Um, I also have another serum coming um, from Dew, which makes the under eye patches that I have that are like they're silicone forever eye patches. So you don't, um, they're a lot less wasteful than using like you know, single use ones, obviously. So I'm really excited to try that. I think it's called the Deliverance Serum. And I've heard a lot of people use that um, alternating days where they don't use retinol. So I'm intrigued to see how my skin is going to react to that. We'll see. Um, but that should hopefully be coming in the mail soon. I think it said it shipped. Um, so that's what I picked up at Sephora. Then what did I do? Then I went into Trader Joe's. I just grabbed a couple things. I got, um, what did I get? I got some food for Bill. I got Orzo to add into soup that we're going to have that just came in Green Chef for this weekend. Um, what else did I get? Maple syrup. I got a vegan caramelized onion dip, which sounds intriguing. And we are thinking about making some pretzels from scratch um, for Sunday football. So I thought that would be good to have with them. Um, and I got a couple other things that I can't remember. Got gas. Um, and then I went and got my Friday boba at Boba Guys. 
um, which I've only had a couple sips of. So that's that. I have an article I need to finish today. I have another that I would like to start. It would be ideal if I could finish it too, but um, we'll see. And then I basically got all my other stuff done already this morning, so that's nice. And I need to take a shower. Um, I might take a bath first because, you know, to end off the week on a relaxing note. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to have you here for the next, uh, you know, the next couple days for this weekend vlog. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to do so down below. Give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, turn on the post notifications. And yeah, excited to see what we get into this weekend. So I just heated up some leftovers for lunch. Um, we had this for dinner, not last night, the night before. Um, it's just some rice with sauteed kale, um, roasted sweet potato, and some tempeh. And then I put like a chimichurri sauce that we had left over from a Green Chef meal on top and some pumpkin seeds. So... Oh, and there's some corn in here too. Um, so I'm going to eat that while I work on this article. Um, hopefully it'll take me like another, maybe like an hour to do. It's 1.50 right now. So hopefully if I can finish it by like three o'clock, that would be ideal. Um, so then I can take, like I said, I want to take a bath slash shower. Um, but I just really want to get this finished up. And then do a little relaxing. Um, and then work on another article after that. But um, I just really want to try to get this one finished up first. It is time for dinner. And this is the Green Chef meal we're having tonight. Maple butternut squash risotto. Had this before and it is very good. I really like their risotto recipes because they're pretty simple. Um, and really tasty. So I'm gonna get started on prepping everything now. Bill, how's, how's your dinner? A plus. And how's Dota? Great. Exciting evening at home. Good morning, everyone from Hollywood. It is actually a really rainy morning. It just kind of stopped. Um, but it was really coming down when I was, I mean, it was misting, but it was like a very heavy mist when I was driving um, on the 101 over here. But I have some errands to run. So I'm at a plant power right now. Um, this video I'm filming a little bit earlier than I normally would for vlogs. Um, so I've been doing all of my taste tests of different pumpkin items for a video that will be up before this one, um, this vlog that you're currently watching. Um, the pumpkin taste test video is already up, so I'll link it, but I've been trying out different pumpkin foods around LA for the past, like almost, you know, all of October basically. Um, so I got a pumpkin pie shake at Plant Power. So go check out that video to see my thoughts on it. Um, but I also just got a breakfast sandwich that I'm gonna eat, which looks really good. And then I have a couple of errands to run. Um, I'm going to put this down real quick so I can show you the most adorable bag that I've ever gotten in my life that I'm obsessed with and uh, the Gilmore Girl girlies will love this. It says Stars Hollow Books and it has like the Stars Hollow sign. Isn't it so cute? I'm obsessed. It's a mini tote, so it literally fits like a book perfectly in here. Um, and I brought it with me. It just came in the mail a couple days ago. Um, and it's from Favorite Child Collective. I will link it down below. I believe that they also just recently came out with a full-size tote option. So if you'd rather have that. Um, but this is just perfect for carrying. Like I have like mask. I have my wallet. I have um, hand sanitizer, my AirPods and my keys and then I'm recording on my phone but um the only thing it doesn't fit is my water but like that's fine because I don't normally bring it in places um you know when I'm running errands and stuff but I just thought this was super cute like I said I'll link it down below um and I believe that they have a full-size tote as well but I think this is really cute um just for you know 
holding just the essentials and like a book like Rory would. Um, I just posted a picture of it on my Instagram the other day because I went and took it to the park um, to read uh, my new book and eat some lunch there and it was really nice. So I'm gonna go head out and eat this breakfast sandwich and I, um, I'm gonna see, I mean, I need to check what the weather forecast is because Bill and I were planning on going over to Glendale today and all of that like stuff is outdoors and like if it is drizzling a little that's fine with us um as long as it's not planning to like really rain um so we'll just have to check the weather when I get back home um in a little bit. I remember like 10 years ago when this was the most innovative thing ever and we would get them in New York all the time Pulling them out. Wow. Yay. I got vegan red velvet and Bill got vanilla. Boring. <laughs> okay, I'm loving the representation in Sir La Tab. We've got towels, all these plates. I do really like the serving dish too. This is very unexpected for me because normally there's not a whole lot of representation for uh, Hanukkah or Jewish holidays in stores. Hello everyone. Did you almost just turn the light off? Yeah, <laughs> um, we're home now from our little outing, which was unsuccessful but we're not gonna get too much into it because it was a bit of a high stress day um trying to find a wedding suit for bill but i just came home to two packages that i wanted to show you so first thing is a pin that i bought um talked about this a bunch if you follow me on tiktok or I mean, I guess if you've seen my other videos, um, you would know that I collect Ariel pins. Um, so I have had this one on my list of ones that I was interested in tracking down. It wasn't like something that I'm, you know, was looking to like purchase immediately, but it came out three years ago. And so it was something that was on my radar. I don't know what I'm even saying, but, um, we packaged this very nicely. Um, but I have not seen it at any of the like pin events that I've gone to. I've only seen one listing for it for sale on eBay. Um, and it's literally listed at a thousand dollars. And I was like, uh, that's not gonna happen. I did not pay anywhere near that much whatsoever. Like not even three digits, I did not pay. So when I saw this listing, I was shocked. And they had listed one of each I think if not all of them, most of the princesses that came out in that collection. Um, but it's a Halloween, it was a Halloween release um, in 2019 from the Disney Employee Center. Um, so these pins are only available to uh, employees of the Walt Disney Company. And um, I don't really know how it works when they are released, but I do have one other DEC pin. I only have one, right? Yeah, I think I only have one. Are you nodding your head? Like, you know? No, I, I thought you were looking. No, at I'm just looking off in the distance. <laughs> um, yeah, I believe I only have one other DEC pin, and it's the one that came out for the 2019 holidays, also of Ariel, um, in like a holiday look. But this is the Halloween one, and I am really excited because, like I said, it was one that was on my list. And it was just even more perfect that it's like Halloween season right now. So I think it's even more fun that I get to have it, even though it will be on my board like all year long. They packed it. I'm very impressed with the packaging because most pins come in like a bubble envelope. Um, and I've never had issues, but this is like extremely well packaged. So love to see it. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <gasps> Wow. So this is what it looks like. I'll insert a better look at it, um, like maybe tomorrow when it's better lighting and it's on my pin board, but it is so, wow, it's really, really pretty. And I love that it's big. It's like the same size as the holiday one that I have. So I think they'll look really good like 
on the board together as like kind of centerpiece ones because they're so big. But as you can see, we've got Ariel. She's holding all the princesses in this collection. We're holding like a mask, I think, um, for Halloween. And then she has like some candy and like a little uh, seashell basket. And I love the glitter on the back, the like orangey glitter. And I like that it's not like Halloween. Like, you know, it's kind of like fun. It's like a little masquerade look. Um, but I am just really happy to have this in my collection and I'm really excited about it. So yay for that. That's so exciting. And then I got one more thing, which is from Majuri. Um, I honestly don't remember what I picked out because it was kind of a while ago. Um, I have done campaigns with them for <laughs> since I think like November 2019. So this is like my third year of doing campaigns with them. Um, just like every couple months doing like a TikTok or Instagram um, where I get to pick out a piece from whatever the collection is that they're highlighting and yeah i'm excited so oh yeah i got these earrings um these are the i will insert the name of them um or link them down below so you have what they're exactly called because i don't 100 percent remember but i'm pretty sure they're just the croissant dome hoops and i need to just double check like all of the stuff for the campaign so we can plan that out to shoot it maybe like this week but these are really pretty they didn't have anything um white gold i did a uh, white gold i mean it was a sterling silver piece in the last uh partnership that i did which was over the summer and i was happy about that because obviously my engagement ring is white gold so i definitely wanted to do more sterling silver stuff um or white gold things in the future for jewelry just because like obviously this is what i wear every day my wedding band um which i do have but obviously we'll be wearing it till we're married is white gold um as well so I'm bill opening a soda um so uh yeah but so look out for that coming to my instagram and tiktok at some point soon but like i said i'll link that down below um also, I got in the mail yesterday, I don't think that I showed it, but I got a restock of my matcha from Matchaful. Um, I'll insert a picture of it here. I'm like 99% sure I did not talk about it. So if I did, and I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry, but I don't think I did. But my favorite matcha, I just needed a restock of that. Um, I am waiting for like a couple other things to come in the mail right now. Um... Something else came yesterday, a new product from a brand that's not released yet that I'm testing. And yeah, what else did we do? Um, so we picked up Din Tai Fung for dinner. And so I got the Shanghai rice cakes, which are so good. I'm going to eat them right when I finish filming this. And I also got the red bean um, buns, right? That's what they're called. Where's those? Yeah, the red bean buns. Those are so good. Um, they're really good. They're like perfectly sweet. The little dessert buns, they're amazing. So I got those. We also went to the Sprinkles Cupcake uh, ATM like I showed. So uh, we'll have that also later. And Bill is going to play a game in a little bit with his friends. So I think I'm going to eat while he's doing that. And then um, last night we... I was playing Dreamlight Valley um, for how long did we play for? Like two hours. Yeah. Um, and it was really fun because that was the first time Bill has watched me play. I will link the video up above where I played it for the very first time if you're interested. Um, I definitely was not so good in that video. Um, so maybe I'll do another one, but who knows. Um, but it is fun. So I think we'll play that later tonight, right, babe? Yeah. You want to watch me play again? Yeah. He was getting a little frustrated with me because sometimes I can be on the slow side because I'm not very good with using both of my thumbs at the same time. Not like Bill, who's a great gamer. If you couldn't hear that, he just burped. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I'm going to clean up all this stuff, put my new pin on the pin board. I'm so happy about it and eat my dinner. 
good morning everyone happy sunday just gotta pump up the seat like i always do after bill drives um i am heading to a sauna appointment this morning i have not gone to a sauna in i don't even know how long since before the pandemic i think i don't think i've I don't think I ever have gone to one in the past two years, but I am really excited um, to do that. Uh, I'm going to Perspire Sauna Studio. It's in Santa Monica on Montana Ave, and I'm excited to check it out and see how it is. Um, I've gone to Sweat Theory, which is in Hollywood, a bunch of times, and I've also gone to Shape House, which is a little bit of a different experience. You're like in a little like sleep sack that's hot um and you're like laying on a bed and watching something um versus in sweat theory and then also what I am assuming perspire is like you're like in your own like infrared sauna box um so I'm excited about that um I am what else am I gonna do gonna pick up probably some la la land uh which is one of my favorite places in LA. Um, I love going to get work done there, but I'm not going to do that today since it's Sunday and I'm going to just get a matcha, uh, a strawberry fields matcha and probably an avocado toast after the appointment. I need to stop at Trader Joe's and grab a couple of things. Bill made a list of some things uh, that we need for the pretzels and then he's going to make a beer cheese for himself. Um, so that will be fun to make together later because it's football Sunday. So excited about that as well. Um, what else do I have to do? I have to stop at the bank and I think that that is it for the errands this morning. Um, but I'm really excited to go and check out the sauna. So let's go. Hello everyone, I am out of the bath now, feeling relaxed. Um, I also showered and washed my hair and everything. So Bill is getting started right now on pretzels because the first football games of the day are about to be over. Um, so he's getting started with that and also shredding some cheese because he's making a beer cheese, like I said. And I'm feeling a little hungry, so I don't know how long they take. Bill, how long do the pretzels take? How long do the pretzels take? Um, I don't know. Well, what does your recipe say? Doesn't even know his own recipe? 20 minutes. Oh, to only 20 minutes. Good, because I'm hungry. Um, so we're going to get started on making that, and then I'm going to dry my hair. So let's go head to the kitchen. How's that look? Bad? Good? <laughs> Well, they look very interesting. Um, the smaller one, this one kept its shape a little more, but like the big part was definitely too big. The bites definitely turned out better um, because I feel like they were a better size. And I think we're gonna try another batch in a little bit when I'm done drying my hair. Um, and I'm gonna try this with the caramelized onion dip now and we'll see how it tastes. Okay, Bill, how is the buffalo beer cheese dip? It's good. Not really buffalo beer cheese, but... Oh, I thought you put buffalo sauce in it. I did, but... Not a main flavor? No. Just to add a little heat. And what would you rate it? Eight out of ten. And what about the pretzels? Um, they're good. I just, they don't look like pretzels. But the flavor is good. Yes. Okay, I'm going to try now. Okay. All right, so like I said, this is the vegan caramelized onion dip from Trader Joe's. Yummy. Yeah, they like could be darker, I feel like, but, and like obviously they're not shaped very pretty, um, but I did my best. They were pretty good though. 
Hello everyone. After spending lots of time cleaning the kitchen from our uh, pretzel endeavor, it's time to now make dinner. Um, we are having this Tuscan white bean and chard soup from Green Chef. And I also have some uh, orzo pasta. I'm gonna add into it. I've just been working, uh, trying to get some random stuff done started writing an article and I'm watching Gilmore Girls, hence the headphones. Um, I'm at the end of season six, which ooh, season seven is not my fave, not my fave. So we will power through that. Um, but yeah, excited to have this dinner. I'm going to put all this dry stuff away um, and hopefully not make too big of a mess because I was literally scrubbing flour and stuff like off of everything and like baking soda. So yeah, let's make some soup. Woo! Six and oh, baby. Hello, everyone. It is now Monday morning. It's currently 8.50. And I have been getting work done for almost an hour. I already went and took a walk this morning outside. It was obviously outside. Um, it was really nice. And it's actually like a little bit chilly. Uh, and chilly to me means 58 degrees. Um, so I was wearing a long sleeve and pants. So that was nice um, to just feel like a little bit of a crisp in the air. <laughs> um, but I'm about to make some coffee and oatmeal and just get the day started. Um, I've got not too much to get done today. I mean, I do have two articles that I want to get done today. Um, so I guess that is a lot, but I have not a lot of work left for the rest of the month so but i'm going to try to just get it done as soon as possible instead of being like oh you know push it back um because i only there's only two weeks left of october i know this video is not going up until the beginning of november but i'm just trying to get ahead of filming stuff um because i just don't want to be doing things last minute and that's been happening where i've been stressed with having to get a video edited um like say if I film a weekly vlog um and I film it Monday through like Saturday and then I'm editing it on Saturday when I'm finishing filming it and then it has to go up the next day so I'm like spending like three probably hours or if not more editing and I just don't want to be doing that especially not under a time constraint I don't mind spending the time editing it's that I'm spending the time editing when it has to go up literally the next day or that day and that's happened quite a few times lately so I'm trying to get better about that so if that means maybe filming and then posting something like two weeks later instead of like the next day um that would make my life a lot easier um it's easier to plan out for things when I have like a specific event that I'm filming um or a thing like Oogie Boogie Bash I knew because we were going to that on a Sunday obviously it would not go up until the following Sunday so that was good because I had a full week to edit it same thing with the Horror Nights video we're going to that this Sunday I'll have the whole week before it goes up to edit it um so that I just need to get better about planning that stuff out because I'm good at managing my deadlines for um like my freelance writing career but it's just sometimes harder with YouTube because it just sometimes gets away from me so that's that but I'm gonna make my breakfast now I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video as always there are some exciting ones coming up soon um, that I hope you'll stick around for so if you're not already subscribed please do so down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up turn on post notifications leave me a comment and I'll see you in my next video again really soon Bye.